Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode of the Budget 4x4 Live. Today is going to be a very in-detail video about the AOC, the ABS and the traction control system of the Pajero. We're basically going to go everything you need to know about it, when to use it, when not to use it, how it's on-road, how it's off-road, let's show you everything you need to know. And I'm also going to show you on the beach today how each individual system works and basically how they work on the Pajero. So yeah, let's get into it. Right guys, so there's three main features that comes with the Pajero. All right, so first up is the ASC, which is the button right down here. Now this is active stability control. Then the second one is the ABS system, which has to do with the brakes. And the third one is the traction control. So there's a few people getting this wrong thinking when they put off the ASC that it's gonna, you know, turn off the traction control system, which is untrue, all right? So, Let's go a bit more into detail. So I'm going to read you something about the ASC, which is the Active Stability Control. All right, this system helps to improve the vehicle's stability and handling by controlling the engine output and the braking force to each wheel. It is designed to help to prevent the vehicle from sliding when driving on slippery or uneven roads such as snow and sand. All right, so it is related to the traction control, but it's not the traction control. The AAC system uses a variety of sensors, including wheel speed sensors, the yaw rate sensor, and a lateral acceleration sensor to continuously monitor the vehicle's speed, direction, and movement. The system detects that the vehicle is losing traction. It will automatically adjust the engine output and apply the brakes to individual wheels to help keep the vehicle on course. All right, so it's it's very much close to the traction control system, but it's more focused on the stability of the car and making sure the car handles correct on and off road. The second one is the ABS system. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this one, but it's the anti-lock braking system. So essentially how that system works is if you apply pressure on the brake, it's going to prevent not to lock up the wheels. Instead, it's just going to, it's going to like, how do I say this? It's basically going to shut up and make sure the vehicle does, doesn't lock up and just stops. All right. So it's basically a fancy feature that just makes sure the car stops better instead of locking up the wheels and causing an accident. All right. So that, that one's not very important for today, but that's what the ABS system is. Oh, there's another Pajero guy. All right. And last but not least, the main one is the traction control system. Now, all Pajeros well, Gen 4 Pajero, as I should say, does not come with a traction control off button. Okay, so make sure you stick to the end because I'm going to tell you what loom you should get to make it all go off and how to fix that problem. But yeah, so basically the traction control system, here's a good um, one for you. So upon identifying a wheel that is losing its grip on the road, the system automatically applies the brakes to the individual one or cut down the car's engine power to the slipping wheel. Now this will happen when you're in snow. So basically what's going to happen is the wheel is just going to lock up and the engine power is going to be cut making sure that the car remains traction on the road. And even if you sometimes drive in wet roads when it's raining and you apply too much power and the wheel starts spinning, the traction control will kick in. It's going to cut the engine's power and it's going to make sure the, the wheel that's spinning gets traction again by slowing it down. Right. So that's how all three systems work. OK, now the problem is when you're off road or in the sand or in sand, I should say, and on the snow, when the traction control kicks in, it's literally going to bog you down. And that's the negative thing about the traction control. And I'm going to show you right now as well on the beach, what the car does without the traction control on, with it off, and also with the ASC off to see whether there's any difference just turning the ASC off as opposed to turning the traction control off, which will turn off the ABS, ASC and traction control system and how the car will then perform. Hi guys, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm here in my car. We're at the beach now. The wind is quite hectic, so hopefully the sound is all good. Um, but yeah, guys, we're now going to put the car into the different modes. And I'm going to show you what goes off in what particular mode. And then I'm also going to show you how the car behaves when the ASC is off and when it's on. 
um, just to show you how the traction control and all the other features work as well. All right, guys, now you can see what it looks like. So that is two-wheel drive. Now let's put it into four-wheel drive. There you go. See, there's nothing yet coming on on the dash. Now this is four-wheel drive high-low C. You can see the center is locked. And that is now low range. So as you can see, it literally just turns off the active stability control, which means the ABS system and the traction control system is still in place. Now, if you do have a diff lock car, when you turn off the diff lock, the traction control should go off, um, but that's only when you turn the diff lock on. But yeah, let me show you how it now works with the ASC off and ASC on. I'm gonna have the car in two wheel drive just so I can actually get the car some kind of bogged and show you guys how the car reacts. Okay, so this is with the ASC off. Let's see if the traction control will still kick in. Yep, there you go. And it's cutting power. You can see the revs, it's cutting power. We have, oh yep, that, that doesn't feel good at all. Right, so the car is pretty bogged now. Now I'm gonna show you what happens. If I leave it in the same mode, but I put the traction control off. So now you can see the traction control, the ABS and the stability control is off. Let's see if we can drive out of this. There you go. Too easy, and I was pretty bogged there. So yeah, there you go makes a world of a difference so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the car in low range there's a tiny bit of an incline here I'm just gonna try and drive it up in low range and see what happens and see if the traction control still kicks in just to show you guys doesn't matter whether you're in low range or not it's still gonna do it so I'm gonna drive up this hill in low range uh, with the ASC off and then I'm gonna drive up it with a traction control off and see what the difference is so yeah let's uh, have a look and see what happens all right so in this video the asc is on so now you can see the traction control kicked in and the rear wheel is literally just stopped while the other car is spinning which means you'll get bumped now the traction control is off so you can see all the wheels are spinning freely but we just need a bit more momentum just to get up this hill so now we try it again with the ASC on, but then again the traction control kicks in, which means you get bogged. And there you go, with the traction control off, this flies up the hill. So there you have it guys, I just tried to get up this hill, and as you can see with the ASC off, this traction control still kicked in, and I literally, I was almost up the one time when I had a lot of momentum, but I just couldn't make it. Um, whereas if you turn the traction control off the wheels will just keep on spinning and it won't stop at all which means you'll keep the momentum and you'll go up the hill a lot easier so yeah that's the beauty about the traction control loom as well um, is that you can turn it off doesn't matter whether you're in two-wheel drive four-wheel drive or in low range um, so yeah that is pretty good so it's going to be listed on the website as well from today and you guys can order it there now the main thing about the traction control loom is essentially that it's going to turn all three safety features off. So your ASC, your ABS and the traction control will be turned off, uh, which means you will have zero interruption when you're off-road on the beach or whether you're in snow as well. Like if you're going to live in snow and you're going to try and go up, you know, the roads and especially if it's an incline, the car is going to slip and the traction control will kick in which means you can lose all your momentum and you might even find yourself in a very dangerous situation 
Um, so it's definitely a must-do mod. I've been running this one for over a year now, um, I think. Um, and yeah, so far no problems and it's been definitely a game changer when you're on the beach and you want to get up those really hilly sandy roads. I do have a detailed install video as well that you can have a look over here. You go have a look how to install it. Um, but today is more of showing you what the difference is between the systems and why the traction control mod is needed both on and off road. All right, so you guys also heard that I said if you have a factory deflock Pajero, it might turn off the traction control system if you're in low range only. Now, sometimes if you do like long stretches of beach driving or if you just want to go into four wheel drive high range um, and you want to get the traction control turned off like I did on the beach, that's sort of where the loom is going to help you as well, is to turn it off. And when you're off road and you need the traction control to work with you, let's example, let's say if you do mountain ranges and you do like off road sort of ruts situations, and when you turn off the um, diff lock, you can actually use the loom to turn it on as well. So it's going to work as a poor man's diff lock. So the rear is going to be locked and you're going to have traction control in the front, which is awesome. So if you lift a wheel in the front, it's going to lock that wheel and it's going to send power to the wheel that has traction. So you're ultimately going to have diff lock in the front and you're also going to have diff lock in the rear. So that's just going to further enhance the vehicle's capabilities as well. So it doesn't matter if you have a Bajero without diff lock or with diff lock, the traction control loom will help in both situations, whether you want to turn it off or whether you want to turn it on. Another tip that I can tell you guys, when you drive on the beach, never drive in drive. That makes sense, all right? Because the torque converter needs to decide where's the best, you know, what's the best gear. So it's gonna heat up the torque converter. So always make sure you put it into manual mode and you drive accordingly. And also never tow or, yeah, well tow and drive on the beach in fifth gear. Uh, or your top gear because the transmission will overheat and I can also look on my ultra gauge that the EGTs are skyrocketing in fifth gear versus fourth gear so always go fourth gear um, and you will be able to keep the temps nice and low on the beach and towing. It's a nice beach run I just had and I might just go for a swim I reckon because it's such a beautiful sunny day it's just a bit windy so Sorry for all the footage inside the car, um, especially now as well. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise. But anyway guys, that is the video. Hopefully you now understand a bit more about the ASC, the ABS and the traction control system. Now if you want to get your hands on this loom, it will be on the website from today on. But it's worth mentioning that it will take 1 to 30 days to arrive to customers if we ship worldwide as well. Uh, which is cool, just if you're outside of Australia, make sure you get in contact with me first via info at budget for by for life just so I can get the accurate shipping cost to you. But yeah, for all Australians, it will take about 1 to 30 days. It sort of depends if there's some looms on the shelf already or whether it needs to be made to order. It's also compatible with 2006 models onwards for any Gen 4 Pajero that is fitted with the ASC function, um, so whether it's a 3.2 liter, 3.5 petrol, uh, 3.8 petrol, it will suit your car as long as it's got ASC and it's a Gen 4 Pajero. So thank you so much for watching guys and make sure you like and subscribe on the channel and yeah if you have any questions like always pop them down below just so I can follow up with you. Thanks guys, have a good one and yeah I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.